got a hair. Like I got. Wait a second. I got a calic hair going on here. We're already on. No, we're not. Yes, we are. We Hi. <laughs> we did not start this. Yes, we did. Go, Sharon. Go. Hi, it's a tight white sister, Sharon and Rosie, and we saw The Irishman on Netflix. You know, we weren't going to do a Netflix movie, but last year, what was that one? What the other one that won all the awards? I, I forget. Know. Don't matter. We're going to do this one. What are we doing? So, The we're Irishman. Doing, yeah, The Irishman. I said it, The Irishman. So, it stars Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, Al Pacino, Harvey Keitel, Baba Kavara. So, <laughs> who's Baba? Bobby. <laughs> so, Come it's on, the life man. story of... It's serious. A second. Okay, it is. It's the life story of Frank Sheeran, who said that he killed, claims, claims that he killed Jimmy Hoffa. And it makes a lot of sense. So, it's, it was actually was him as a really old man, in a nurse, don't shoot me again, in a nursing home, in a wheelchair, and it kind of looked like he was talking to a documentary person. Then he went back to the, to the scenes where he over, over, talked, over talked. We really liked it. It's like Joe, it's like, Martin Scorsese did Goodfellas again and Casino and all that stuff. He's really good at this mob stuff. Yeah, it was. It was. You know what? I only have one really complaint. I know. We know what your complaint is. I think you told everybody. Go ahead, say. Who did I tell anybody? But it's true. Well, I heard Over it Over three and a half hours. It, was a, it took us it was, five by the time we peed and made tea and she talked to Sierra on the face plate. Yeah. It was five hours of your life. But, yeah, this but it's, it's the not time really you five hours. It's three hours and 38 minutes if you want to sit and watch it. A lot of people didn't watch it in one, in, in one sitting. They broke it up. I couldn't have done that. I, I don't know how people break it up and go back the next day and watch it, but I know a lot of people did do that. I saw I, Martin Scorsese, Joe Pesci, no, not Joe Pesci, Al Pacino, and Robert De Niro won a, a talk show. You know, they were being interviewed about this, and Martin Scorsese said... He went to all the top, you know, movie houses in California. Nobody wanted to do it. Nobody took it on. But he said Netflix, because the one thing about it is he did that, that technology that made Robert De Niro go from, like, it into college. It was almost so slight, though. Like, people were complaining about it. I they didn't really saying, see a big deal. Yeah, they were saying that, oh, it was it was done to, yeah. I, I think they did it ever so slightly. I thought it was really good, really too. really didn't notice it. Like, you know, sometimes, like, uh, the Will Smith movie that was out, I mean, his whole face looked like it was animated, okay? Because he was a young kid, and then he was the regular person. But they didn't do that 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 intense in this movie. I thought it was good. Now, let's say the movie was really good. The movie was really interesting. Um, it was too long. I didn't, I mean, yeah, that's it was my too only long, complaint that it was too long. I didn't realize, because we were kids at the point at this time, you know, how intense uh, the, the uh, all the union workers were. I mean, Jimmy Hoffa like, owned lady, everything. He was, like, untouchable. I mean, they were good and bad at the same time. They were really good people. But they were bad at the same time, and I think only because, you know, the influence we of the We have to say something that, was, that we were that surprised at. No, I was surprised at it. She already knew. They come up at the end, at the very last scene, almost towards the last scene, and John McCullough comes on the screen. So I'm like, it says head of the... Our dad was a local head dirty the roofer. Roofer union. He was at our house. We went to so his I house. So I turned around and I said to her, is that John McCullough? And we she says, him. yeah. And I was like, wait a minute. Our John McCullough? And she says, yeah. I said, what? I said, are you kidding me? I said, the one that came to our house all the time? Yeah. And she was like, yeah. She said, him and Daddy were really close friends from the time they started roofing together. And I was like, are you kidding? Yeah. She, I couldn't believe it was. But when I looked online and I looked at his picture, I was like, holy crap. That's yeah. John McCullough. It's amazing. He got McCullough. killed. You know what I liked about the movie? One thing about it. Um, that was crazy for me. You know what they did? Nuts. Like they would show like Joe T like uh, Testa, and they would show like Angela Bruno, and they would like do a thing. Got shot in the head. Nineteen something. Yeah, they showed you how they, they, they how they died. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, that was really cool. That but was Colin really got cool, killed Luke. in his kitchen. Got killed somebody, in his kitchen. Yeah, somebody I didn't know that. Delivered a poinsettia plant at Christmas time. His I wife opened that. the door and they shot and killed him. I right know my dad was real upset. I don't, but I was twelve years old. I didn't remember that. I know when they we they found out about it, it was tragic, but. I'm telling you right now, I was amazed that that was John McCullough that came in our house all the time. Mr. McCullough. Anyway, the movie right, so was... The movie's about Frank Sheeran. He started out being a delivery man for a trucking company. Right. And he got, he got involved with some stealing stuff. So he went to see a lawyer that they told him to go to see, played by... Wait a second, who's a play by? Everybody Loves Raymond. Ray played Romano. And Ray Romano, it was the cousin of this big mob guy who played by Joe Pesci. And that's how they became friends. And then he just worked up the ladder. Joe Pesci was so good in this movie. Yeah, he was. Al Pacino, Al Pacino plays Al Pacino. Jimmy Hoffa. Good. And he was like so important that he needed a bodyguard because everybody wanted to kill him. Robert De Niro. So Robert De Niro well, stepped in. Al Pacino in. was Hoffa. Yeah. So he stepped in as his bodyguard. So good. I got to say, though. It, it, it uncovers things that we don't know it's true or not, but, like, they were behind the, the, the Kennedy killing. John F. Kennedy So it murder. claims. The mob did it. So the it mob, claims. Yeah, the mob did the whole Bay of Pigs thing. can't say they did. You no, we say, can't say that. This opens so up claims. a dialogue about this kind of stuff. Like, they... I forget what that word is. That they really supplied... Really allegedly. Them. Allegedly. And, like, they gave... But when you watch it and the story reveals itself, you're like, hmm... Well, you Interesting. Know I'll tell you what. In that time, they pretty much had a hold on everything. They did. They really did. Everything. I mean, at the wheel and the deal. So, like, Ed Sheeran, like, uh, uh, Frank. Frank Sheeran was a World War II vet. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's him in a nursing he's home. He's a family man. He loves his kids. He loves his wife. He's a good guy. So, he's half, he's like a... The one thing about him that... They wanted to make him look Irish. He was in a nursing home in a wheelchair where he told this story to this guy. What's the guy's name? Anyway, he told this story to this guy, and that's where the book came from. Stop. You're, you're, every time By Charles Brannett, who wrote the book. Seven minutes. We're not going to be that long. Well, she just prints out so much stuff. She's good. It's too much. It's, it's, you don't even, it's there was one thing I learned about this. Do you paint houses? That's a mafia thing. You paint houses like you shoot somebody in the bone skirts on the wall. And that's how they figure out who is going to be a hitman for you. They said, you paint houses? They said that to, to him, Frank Sheeran. Did you paint houses? I missed that. Yeah. And uh, Joe Pesci said, do uh, you paint houses? And he said, yeah, and that's how he got it. So he wrote up the ladder. Yeah, it was a vicious. But he was just a thug. He, he was murdered. just a thug. Not really. He mur well, yeah, but he murdered 23 people. He was a I thug. I know, but it was different. It, it wasn't different. It was, I don't know. He murdered like 25, 28 people, but I don't okay, know. Okay, this is an old man in a wheelchair in a nursing home talking to this author of a book. Mm -hmm. So, you can take what you want from it, or you can't take from what you want from it. They killed Jimmy Hoffa. He said he killed Jimmy so Hoffa. Him. Had him cremated. And Shh, don't tell him everything. Supposed people didn't watch it yet. They don't know. That's not, that's not, yeah. I mean, that's what it's about. Yeah, don't tell them the whole thing. All right, so anyway. You believe it or you don't right, believe it. All right, we're going to vote on it now. Okay, let's vote. Let's vote. All right, I'm going to give it four. I'm not with the three and a half hours. I'm going to give it four. It doesn't matter. We probably need that amount. Nah, I could have could have went a, a half hour less. There were some scenes that sure. were just exaggerated. They shouldn't have went on that long. You know, but it was what it was. Joe Pesci also. Joe Pesci. Harvey Robert Keitel. De Niro, Harvey Keitel. He was, he was in Angela not for Bruno. long, not for he was long, Angela but Bruno. he was good. And uh, Robert De Niro, come on. And, and everybody Bruno. loves Raymond. What's that Please. guy? Raymond Ray Romano. Romano. He, he was, was the good. lawyer. He was good. He was good. I right, was going to really vote on it. What do you vote? Four. I'm, I'm giving, giving it four. four. I'm giving it four, too. I'm giving it four because that was a little bit too long. I liked it. I thought it was good. I didn't think it I was going to like it as much. Robert De Niro had to wear... Robert De Niro had to wear blue... Things because Martin Corsese said he looked too Italian. He right, wanted to be he Irish. and made him like blue contacts. Okay, now that we're going to go. Weird scene with that. We're going to go. We are going to do another one tonight. <laughs> Whatever. And uh, we'll be back. All right. So this was good. If you didn't see it yet, watch it. I'm going to say one In thing. In the comfort of your home. There was a little girl that played Robert De Niro. Would play Robert De Niro's oh, daughter. daughter. Yeah, she was really, really good. Um, 
She was okay. She played Lucy Galliano, and she was the daughter of him, and she, he was also the godfather for uh, Al Pesci. Pesci. And that point, this kid had a really good part. It looked like his conscience looking at him. Her? Didn't you think so? Him? Her conscience. Yeah. Okay, got to go. Ten minutes, way too long for this. All right, if you didn't see it, watch it. Netflix. Mm. Maybe you should break I it up like into going, two parts, right? I like going to the movies and seeing movies. I don't like watching movies on TV. But anyway, got to go. We'll be back. All right.